dumb but is here to entertain you. Everyone on the media you hear Senzo Meiwa. Left you go you hear Senzo and on the right you hear Meiwa. Things are definitely going so south as far as his trial is concerned and everybody is so eager to know who caused Senzo Meiwa to kick the bucket before his time and so many fingers keep pointing at all the people who were in the house the day he actually passed on because they believe there is no possibility that Senzo Meiwa passes on to glory in that house and nobody knows how and who is responsible. In at this video, Senzo Meiwa's tombstone is reportedly destroyed. Nayope boys or a message from the other side because so many people believe that Senzo is very much unhappy wherever he is and he wants all the culprits to go down. Guys, I'm here to give you some very shocking details about the tombstone, so do well to watch this video right up to the end. Before I give you all these details, you're welcome to my YouTube channel. Kindly subscribe to this YouTube channel, like this video, drop a comment after watching the entire video and hit onto my post notification bell. Senzo Meiwa's trial has been trending since his trial began, but it also seems as though this will be put on hold for a while as Advocate Tefo has been arrested. While fans and viewers feel as though Advocate Tefo was about to find out the truth, it has also become so clear that we might just be far from really finding out the truth. Fans and tweets feel as though whoever is responsible for Senzo Mei while the soccer star passing on to glory is also going an extra mile to ensure that the truth stays hidden and whosoever tries to speak up or unleash the truth is silenced by all means necessary. The question that fans keep asking themselves is whether or not we can silence those who have passed on to glory as well. Pictures of Senzo Meiwa's tombstone have been making rounds as it appears to be shuddered and there is no reasonable explanation as to what could have happened there. Many are of the opinion that Nayampe boys may have had a thing to do with this or whoever actually caused Senzo Meiwa to kick the bucket, our star before time might have definitely done this or Senzo is sending a message to let his family know that he is not resting peacefully. Things are going really so south for the Meiwa family. It is a well-known ancient myth that in any event that a deceased is not well resting, they try to send messages to their loved ones by maybe shattering their tombstones or cracking their grave if there is no tombstone there. Fans suggested that the family approaches Lami Tambi to try and find out or get clues from Senzo as to what could have transpired. So many fans as well believe that implicating Tambi simply means that bringing her to law, bringing her to court and of course she is not ready for that. They believe that it's just going to put her into more and more troubles and they as well believe that it's going to make her to be fighting the law and to be fighting the country's nation's police because and saying that the police is very much incompetent and very much creating a bad name for C. Stembe. I don't want to be so judgmental on this particular issue and I just so believe that C. Stembe can help out a whole deal but I still don't figure out how come all those who were in the house with Senzo Meiwa when everything occurred really cannot just give a clue about what happened. We are not saying they should call names but please at least they would have noticed something, seen somebody or discovered where and what happened to Senzo Meiwa. Their silence is really keeping me really so worried and all South Africans as a whole. I can imagine what Senzo's family is going through. I mean, it's really so hard on them. For eight good years, they're still being unable to find the person who actually claimed the life of Senzo Meiwa. You will tell me in the comment section what you feel about this particular tombstone shuttering and do well to subscribe.